Hello, boys and girls. My name is LTC and welcome back to season 39 of my FTL series. Today we are in the Slug Cruiser Layer scene and FTL stands for Faster Than Light. It's a space adventure survival strategy game where you have to fight your way from the starting point to the exit through several levels or sectors as they are called here uh, 70 to be precise and the eighth one is the boss fight um, you have to keep ahead from the rebel fleet which will eventually come in here from the left and uh, you have to fight uh, other ships there are different races in the game this one are the slugs, uh, not really my favorite race. Their ability is that they can see into neighboring rooms, they cannot be mind controlled, which can be a bonus, uh, but it's not all that big. So let's get a move on and see what we come up against. Okay, this first ship is uh, just a Rebel Disruptor. Um, we should be okay. Uh, the thing that worries me there is the, uh, the missile that can penetrate our shield. Yeah. At least now we dealt with uh, their missile. And we have a chain laser which takes 16 seconds uh, the first time to load uh, but with uh, each shot fired uh, it gets faster reload time so that's that's a good thing uh, let's use mind control here once again then open doors to deal with that fire there and we need one more hit yes they almost got away but not entirely and we get a bit of fuel some missiles and scrap out of it and scrap is basically the currency in this game um, as you can uh, imagine the uh, sectors become more difficult so you have to upgrade your ship uh, in order to uh, keep ahead of the game. We do have mind control as you have already uh, seen and played. We also have hacking uh, which can be good and uh, then of course the chain laser. Uh, then we move on here into the nebula where we have intruders let's try to deal with them this way by uh, sucking out the uh, oxygen and hopefully uh, they will die before we have to fight them Yes, very nice. And let's wait for oxygen to come back up. And nebula jumps are good because the uh, amount the pursuing fleet is able to follow is reduced uh, in a nebula. So, uh, at the bottom line, that means uh, we get more chumps out of it. 
and uh, each jump gives us a chance to uh, get more scrap, um, which we will need to get ahead. Okay, this is an uh, auto scout. They don't have a crew. They don't have an atmosphere on their ship. And we get a blue option here. Um, we can use the blue option in order to circumvent a fight here. Uh, but I think we will want this fight because that will get more scrap. So we will attack them. They don't have a shield, which is good. They have a missile and uh, a hull laser. That's not good. That's not good either. Um, maybe until we can figure that out, let's do this, hack their uh, weapons, and hope that this time it works out better. Okay, they still got one missile off, but now that their missile is down, we should be okay because the hull laser cannot penetrate our one shield that we have. Eventually they will manage to uh, repair, but maybe not before we can hit them again. And a ship is destroyed. Once they lose all the hull points. Uh, so this one needs three more hits. And they have some evasion as you can see from uh, the, the misses there. And that's because they have piloting or piloting two. We only have piloting one. Okay, that's nice there, and let's go to here. Explore the field, we get fuel, very nice, and let's go down. We can buy more food, but uh, we are pretty stocked, so uh, we will forgo this option, hold on to our scrap, and then go down here. Um, and we will reject their offer. Ooh, they do have... A nasty weapon system. That's uh, burst laser mark two, which can shoot three lasers. Luckily, the beam weapon hit us before the laser did and could bring down the uh, uh, the shield. Okay. Get one is down. Shield is down. And uh, due to uh, mind control, we uh, dealt with the piloting. And those, by the way, those are Mantis. They can inflict pretty heavy damage on a ship or on other crew member. They are fast, faster than other races, 
So they really good at fighting, not so good at uh, repairing. And then we move on. Ooh, sun jump with an automated ship. And they have once again a missile. Hopefully we can have a bit of luck here. Yep. That brought their uh, uh, their weapons down, which is a good thing here. There will be sun flares that will ignite fire in our systems. Right. That's dealt with, then we shall move on. That stern here is a dead end. Not too many chumps here. Okay. We got a question marker there and a bit of scrap. And then let's go here before we go to the exit. Okay, it was a trap. On to the exit then. Okay. Let's attack them. They have a flag. They will try to board us. Slugs are not really good at uh, at fighting. Okay, we do have uh, Clone Bay, so that should help us. Nice. And they're gone. Okay, we're sitting on uh, 100 plus scrap. Our hull is not great, but uh, not too bad either. Um, so we can think about the next priorities are, of course, uh, another shield uh, and a second weapon. But for the weapon, we need the uh, weapon slots, the weapon itself, and the power. While for the shield, we only need the uh, uh, shield slots uh, plus the power. So maybe let's do this and one here, but uh, hold back on the power and then we will go to civilian sector in next episode. Until then, goodbye!